Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning with Anosha. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a rubric and how you can use it for marking your quizzes and assignments. So let's start. Click on your classwork tab and then click on create a new assignment. Then create an assignment. Give some title and instructions to your students about the assignment. I'm not going to add any any material from my local computer and from any website here because I have shown all of these steps in my previous video. So just I'm creating a simple assignment here. Now I will assign 10 marks to this assignment and I will give a due date to this assignment and now I'm going to give a topic to this assignment and now I will click on this rubric button so clicking on this rubric button and I'm creating a new rubric here so first of all let me tell you that what is the rubric rubric is just a marking scheme you set for marking your assignment or quiz for example you set three criteria for marking your assignment for example, one is its content, second is its formatting, and third is the timeliness of the student for the submission of that assignments. So you can enter criteria and you can enter the possible points you can give the student according to that criteria. So for example, first I am adding a criteria here. I named it as content. I can give description but here I'm not giving any description about it. I'm giving five points to the co content if the content are excellent or student write very good material then I'm going to give five points. Secondly if the contents are average then I'm going to give the student four marks if the contents are very poor then I am going to give a two marks to the student so I have set a criteria that I will be evaluated the contents of that assignment and I selected the mark distribution according to some level so for the excellent content I will give full five marks for average contents I will give 4 and for poor contents I will give 2. Now moving towards the second criteria let's say I will give 3 marks for excellent formatting. The second criteria is formatting so I am going to add this criteria here. Giving a title, leaving description right now. Giving points, 3 points to the best formatting here and for average formatting I'm giving three marks and for poor formatting I'm giving two marks so I have set another criteria total marks are 10 so I'm just dividing 10 points in these criteria 5 plus 4 is gonna be 9 marks so I have one mark split so uh, let's see uh, we'll make another criteria for that one marks so clicking on add criteria now giving title timeliness if it's submitted on time giving one point and it's uh, if it's not submitted on time then i will be giving zero so here i have created a rubric i has total 10 marks so I divided those 10 marks according to some criteria. Now I am going to save this rubric. This is saved now and you can see that I have used this rubric here. So I am going to assign this assignment clicking on assign. So assignment is assigned now and no student turn it yet. So let's move on to the student screen and submit this assignment. 
so this is the student's interface moving towards the assignment and now student will upload add his uh, assignment and he or she can get the idea about the rubric as well and get the marks according to the uh, criteria. Student will click on add or create option and then select a file from his or her local computer. So student will select his answer or assignment and upload this particular document and then he will click turn in button so now assignment is uploaded and now student will click turn in button so he successfully turned in so now moving back to the teacher screen and going to mark this assignment according to rubric so let's see so now you can see one turned in and i'm going to view assignment this is the assignment submitted by the student and now I will grade this according to the rubric so clicking on the content and I'm giving an average to this content and clicking on formatting I will giving average to the formatting and clicking on timeliness I have two options submitted on time and late submission so let's say it's submitted on time so, so now you can see that according to the criteria and according to the option I've selected the marks are calculated and the total marks are now 8 and I'm going to return this assignment so returning it so now it's returned and let's see on the students interface what happened so on the student interface Ruin can now see that uh, he got 4 out of 5 for the contents and for formatting he got 3 out of 4 and timeliness he got 1 out of 1 so total marks are 8 by 10 so that's how we use rubric similarly you can use this uh, with your quizzes so this this was all about rubric if you like this video then please like and share this video with your friends and family thank you so much bye bye